This will be a CorelDRAW print merge project. We'll be using at least one of the new features of CorelDRAW X4, a few advanced features that have been available for a while that not that we have not covered in previous print merge projects. First let me say that before you even start thinking about doing the actual merge, have your layout completely finished. All your graphics properly positioned, fonted, uh, justified exactly the way you want it with sample information, preferably with information that would be the maximum length. For instance, in this layout, we have the name that will be a variable, the city that will be a variable, and the tenure. The rest of the information is constant including the red line, which a laser engraver will use to come back and cut these out of a 12 by 12 sheet of material. We're going to use an Excel spreadsheet to gain the data. This is what our spreadsheet shows. We'd like to have the first record or for the first row always show our field names. Notice the field name of city and then the cities below. Last name, first name, other information. Often this is the way we'll receive a spreadsheet with information in it that we don't want. We can dinker with Excel and get rid of that, but we want to show you you really don't have to. Also, we want the first name and the last name combined. Yes, Excel can do that, but so can Corel. We're going to use this just the way it is. Back here, we're ready to think print merge. So I'm going to right click on my icon bar and tell it I'd like to have a toolbar come up and available to me. Then I'm going to click on the first icon, Create Load, and I want to use an existing file. So we'll tell it Next, and then I'm going to tell it instead of a file, I actually want an ODBC data source. So I'm going to click there and tell it I'd like to select that data source. Then I'll tell it Machine Data Source, in this case, and then I'm going to tell it, uh, I'm going to use an Excel file. And then I need to find that file. This is the Excel file I want to use. I'm going to select, find it, select it, and tell it OK. It then will show me all the record names, or that is the headers in record one, or row one in that Excel file. I'm going to click Next for the next field in the CorelDRAW Print Merge Wizard. It shows me in a different format now those different fields. I don't need all of those, but we're just going to leave them in there. I could delete them. These that I don't need, like former employer, I could delete it, but I'm not going to do that. I just keep it simple. This allows us to review the data. We're going to use it just the way our client sent it to us, and let's finish that. So now we have loaded up the data into CorelDRAW's RAM, and uh, we're going to get to work on this. Notice the first field that it shows me is city, so I'm going to select the city, highlight that. That's a key. The only way we can insert these is to sweep highlight there. The, the position we want to insert. I'm going to insert the city there. What's our next field? Last name. I want last name inserted here. First name here. Of course, that space that I'm leaving in between those, very important. What's next? State. We'll put it right here. Again, a space in between there. Tenure, we want it down here, ignoring those two fields that are up uh, and available to us, and we want to insert that there. So we now have all of our variables positioned, and we're going to tell it to use that new feature of Corel X4 not previously available and that's merged to a new document. Notice the document we're using right now is X4 print merge tag. 
when we create merge to new document, CorelDRAW uses the data, populates all those fields, and shows us what we have. Now we have a new file called, or a new document up in memory, print merge one. I could save that if I wanted to. Notice the important part here. Though we have multiple pages, depending on how many records we had in that file, I'm going to press, I can either click on these down here, or press page down and go through and study to see if I see any problems as I walk through the different pages and I don't so the final step I'm happy with that so we'll print that when we get over to the print I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to use my trusty one by one upper left and in position layout that slams whatever we are about to print in the upper left hand corner and then we'll edit that. Knowing how wide the part is, I'm going to tell it I'd like to look at that. Knowing how wide the part is, I know I can get three across and five up and down will fit into a 12 by 12 sheet of material. And there is my information. Notice that it's going to take three signatures, that is three different 12 by 12 sheets of information. There's signature one, signature two, signature three. That's ready to print. So I'll close out of this. That shows me my information here. By the way, I can double check it over here going through signature one, two, three. But I'm ready to print that. I don't have to go back to general, but that'll remind me I'm going to my laser. I'm going to click on print and the project is complete.